Now in the previous video, we were solving 2 to the x is equal to 5. We went from exponential form to logarithmic form and showed that there was this intermediate step of logging both sides uh, with base 2 and showed that actually you could choose any base you like here as long as uh, b is greater than 0 and b is not 1, of course. Then you can log both sides and you can get an equivalent expression. Now, the point of this is that actually that gives us um, a nifty way of converting a logarithm into any logarithmic base that we want. So what we're saying here is that log base 2 of 5 is the same thing as log base b of 5 over log base b of 2. So let's say I want to write log base 2 of 5 in terms of log base 10. Okay. So that would be log base 10 of 5 over log base 10 of 2. Uh, what if I wanted to write log base 2 of 5 in terms of base uh, 7? Well, that'd be log base 7 of 5 over log base 7 of 2. OK, let's take a look at another example. Let's say I had uh, log base 5 of 8. And I wanted to write that in terms of uh, a natural logarithm. So that would be the natural log of 8 over the natural log of 5. OK. And this is called changing the base. Now, changing base with logarithms is outside of the specification. But um, when you get to um, differentiation and you're looking at uh, differentiating uh, natural log of x, for example, quite often uh, students ask me, well, how do you differentiate um, a log of another base? Well, actually, it is done by changing the base. Now, this is obviously a bit beyond, at the moment, uh, what we're looking at with solving exponential equations. But it is a question I quite often get asked. Uh, so I will include it here. Don't worry if you've got no clue what I'm going on about. Um, but it's quite nice to see it working. So if, for example, you wanted to differentiate uh, log base 2 of x, then using our change of base, we could write that as the natural log of x over the natural log of 2. OK? Then differentiating that, it's differentiating this. Now, log x differentiates to 1 over x. So we have 1 over log 2 times by 1 over x. And so that is 1 over the natural log of 2 times by x. And that is our derivative. So that is one of the uses of changing base. Um, but changing base used to be much more prevalent in what we did. But now that, a, now that the calculators have uh, the button that allows you to change the base, um, we don't really do it as often. As I said, it's not uh, part of the A-level math specification anymore.